Hello. I warmly welcome you to another episode of your source of power on Tuesday morning word with Daniel Ockman. I believe you are doing well by the grace of God. My friends, today on your source of power, the admonition for all of us is that as often as possible, intermittently, we should do a SWOT analysis of our own life, of our relationships, our marriages, our businesses, okay, our education, and my friends, our spiritual life, together with whatever endeavor, okay, whatever pursuit, okay, we are involved in. My friends, SWOT analysis, okay, whenever you talk about a SWOT, okay, it means the S over there has to do with the strength, okay, the W represents weaknesses, the O is the opportunities, and of course T, okay, is what we call the threats. My friends, why do we have to do this? Because so many people have done it, and my friends, even Apostle Paul in the Bible is one of such persons. And my friends, if you look at the account in 2 Corinthians chapter 12, verse 9 and 10, okay, the SWOT analysis of Apostle Paul can be summarized. Okay, when he says his strength is made perfect in weakness. So, my friends, one thing I want you to become aware is that. Whenever you do the SWOT analysis, it's able to enlighten you on the way forward. It's able to make you appreciate the strength that you have, okay, by way of, for instance, some people may have strength in, for instance, wisdom, in knowledge, in understanding, in some kind of skill, okay, for instance, public speaking, okay, being fluent, okay, your ability to communicate better and all that. This could be strength, okay? Of course, having money, affluence, could be strength, okay? So my friends, you don't end there, but the point is that even you have your weaknesses, and that is why in the SWOT analysis process, you have to also acknowledge your weaknesses. My friends, if you know your weaknesses, the point is that your strength, you want to amplify your strengths. But my friends, your weaknesses, you want it to have minimal effect on your life. Okay, so there could be so many weaknesses that one may have. Okay, you may know it yourself, but the point is that the effect that is supposed to have on you should be minimal, and that is why you are supposed to do everything to try and circumvent. Okay, the effect of these weaknesses. You try and then let the weaknesses be less pronounced. Okay, in your life. But my friends, the good news is that there are opportunities. Whether you have some kind of strength or you have weaknesses. There are always opportunities which you can make good use of, okay? Because the opportunities will always come. So then the important thing is that you don't always sit in your comfort zone, okay, to embrace opportunities. Sometimes the opportunities may not present itself, may not embrace you. You have to go far and, of course, embrace such opportunities. The opportunities for you to grow, the opportunities for you to mature, okay? The opportunities for you to increase the level of your amount of money that you have. The opportunities to increase your wisdom. Okay, so the opportunities are bound. Okay, but my friends, we shouldn't lose sight of the fact that there are threats everywhere. Now, even in your comfort zone, there are threats. So whenever you even take that calculated risk to go for the opportunities, my friends, what I want you to always keep in mind is that there will always be threats around. And that is why you should try and overcome some of these obstacles, okay, which can hurt your progress. Okay, so my friends, these are the words I have for you. So my friends, all in all, the SWOT analysis will help you know the state of your life, the state of whichever thing that you are looking at, your education, your academics, Okay, you know the areas where you have to put in more effort. You know the areas where you have to stop certain things. So that of course, success will be your portion. So my friends, in your success journey, don't forget 
about the frequent intermittent SWOT analysis. Okay, you can do it weekly, okay, monthly, or even annually or quarterly as far as the year is concerned. So, my friends, these are the words that I have for you today, and I believe you find it helpful. My friends, tonight on Tuesday night, Anatomy with Daniel Lockman, I have a video for you. And my friends, this time around, I take you through the second part of the series as far as the microscopic identification of organs is concerned. And my friends, I believe you want to make a date with me so that, of course, you go through the second rapid series, okay, very quickly. So I'm very grateful for your time this morning. Have a nice day and may the good Lord richly bless you. Amen.